Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today's video is something a little bit different. Today we're going to be looking at some Dice Masters. So, the lovely folks over at WizKids decided that it would be kind of cool if I opened up some Dice Masters on this channel. Which is a nice way of saying I have a friend in their marketing department. So, what nice things have they sent me to open up? So first of all we have this. This is an X-Men Forever campaign box. And we also have this. This is Dark Phoenix Saga Draft Packs. Now, I'm not hugely up on Dice Masters. Something I've opened a little bit of, not a huge amount, so I'm definitely excited to jump into these and see exactly what's in them, and uh, yeah, we're going to look at some cool stuff. Alright, so I'll start off with the campaign box. Now, this one I think is actually a couple of years old. Um, it's not anything brand new, and I also believe it is a fixed product. So what that means is everything you're about to see me show off here, everything I'm going to get in this box, is going to be exactly the same if you go out and purchase this box for yourself. So you'll see exactly what you're getting, as opposed to the uh, draft packs, which we're going to come on to in a moment, which are semi-randomized. Or actually, I, th I think completely randomized for draft packs. All right. Ooh, there's a lot going on in here. All right, so we have rule books and stuff. Now, this is obviously... These campaigns, I think, are very good for actually starting to learn how to play. So we have a list of all of the cards and everything that we're going to get in this campaign kit. That's very nice. Very sweet. Okay. Oh, there's a lot going on here. Okay, so this must be where all your dice and stuff sit as you're playing. And we have the dice broken down into into bags here. I'm assuming this is how they are going to be needed during play. I'm not going to get all of the dice out of this. We're just going to have a quick look at them on camera because I think if I do ever try and learn how to play, I'm going to need these grouped as is. But what else have we got? Some little folded up things here. Oh, these are bags. These must be for holding your character dice or your your sets of dice during the game. And then we have some lovely silica gel. I'll snack on that later. And then we have our big kind of brick of cards. So let's get into these and we'll look through them. Oh, and while I know my audience are all intelligent people, YouTube as a whole is not, so don't eat silica gel. All right, quick look through these. So these are some colors. Place this card behind a basic action card so the label sticks out to remind players which color of basic action dice. This refers to this card. Okay, so that's just for setup. And then we'll go through these quickly of some beasts. So, seems like the characters you get, each of them have a couple of cards. I say, I'm not going to spend too much time on this because it is a fixed product and it is a couple of years old. So, it's pretty easy to see a full breakdown of this if you want to see it in a lot more detail. The draft packs is where it's going to be fun and interesting. So, Hope Summers, Iceman, Jean Grey... So, this obviously, if you were a fan of X-Men, then this is going to be what you want to pick up to get started. Ooh, Magneto. Do you like Magneto? Yeah, so, it seems like each character has lots of cards with different uh, subtitles or different secondary parts to their name. Max 4, Max 4. Different... Do they have different dice logos? It looks like they do. Some of them may do. I, I am a collector of games. I'm not a player of games. But I will try... I will give this a go at some point. Because it would be very, very rude of me not to when they very kindly sent me this to open. Okay, so that's all of our characters. And these are our basic action cards. Alright. Very cool looking set. So I'd probably appreciate it more if I did know how to play. But as I say, I will look at that in a bit more detail off camera at some point to see how interested I am in uh, playing Dice Masters forever. But now let's get on to the fun part. Let's get on to some randomized products. All right, here we go. This is the bit I'm excited for. So this is a sealed brick, sealed block of draft packs. I believe there's eight in here. So each one it contains 15 cards and 24 dice per draft pack. Collect all 152 cards. It's not focusing there, but it will focus when it's on its side. So that is all that's important. 
Now, from looking online, you can see that one thing that these draft packs can have is randomly inserted foil cards. So I'm assuming that is what we're going to be looking out for. These are going to be the interesting hits. All right. They're all just lined up here. They look like they're just a deck of cards. So let's just pull one out. We'll go front to back. So this is how they look. Let's say this is my first experience of these components. 15 cards with 3 basic action cards, 12 character or action cards, 24 dice, 2 to match each character or action card, and 1 rules insert. So, first one. What have we got in here? Other than, you know, what it says we've got. Interesting to see how this is laid out, because it looks like the box is probably just full of dice with the cards then in at the back. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so have a sealed pack of dice there. Actually, for people who know the game, this probably tells you exactly what cards we have here in the draft pack, um, but I have no idea. Alright, so we've got a little rules insert there. It's going to help us out, but what have we got? We've got Dampening Collar. Basic action card. Making the team. And Organic Steel, so it said there'll be three basic action cards, so that's those. We have Cable. I'll do this all day. Colossus, a skilled painter. Dark Phoenix, malevolent. Lilandra, politician. Ronan the Accuser, treason. Storm, extreme weather. Emma Frost, manipulative. Jubilee, things never change. We have a foil card here, Magic, better than Belasco. So I don't actually know if the foil cards are, you know, their own subset of cards, or if they are like a parallel foil set of the whole set. You know, if they have their, uh, we've, got, we've got our numbering here. So this is 80 of 152, so it might just be that this card only comes in foil. I don't know, we'll see. Ronan the Accuser, no mercy. So we've got two different Ronans in this draft pack. Uh, oops. We have a Deken Mac Macron Crystal. And then we have Storm Queen. So we have another foil on here. So that's very nice. We've got two foils out of this draft pack. I'm not sure if that is something that always happens or if it's... We got a bit lucky. So obviously, you know, the packs, the standard booster pack for Dice Masters is a much smaller foil, foil pack... Um, I say foil pack. The pack is made of foil. It doesn't contain all foil cards. But that has two cards plus the two corresponding dice to it. These, obviously, are still fine for adding cards to your collection, but they're called draft packs. They are meant for drafting, too. So I'm going to try and hide the dice, just so that, you know, people who know the set inside out aren't spoiled with anything. All right, we're starting off... So you can get foils of the basic action cards, too. Interesting. I, mean, I guess they are numbered as part of the set. So this one's number five. We've got a lab test. This one's mutant research program. I'm guessing the basic action cards come at the start of the set list. A power bolt. Blink, skilled combatant. Corsair, recruiting a crew. Was Cyclops first class in foil again? Very nice, very nice foil that. I do really like that one. Uh, Forge more than firepower. Mystique relentless. Sabertooth, am I interrupting? Toad secondary mutation. A cable bosom buddies in foil. So that's the third foil of this draft pack. So I guess you do get a nice amount of foils in the draft packs. So we have Iceman, Frozen Fists of Fury, Magneto, Visionary, Deadpool, collect this, I love Deadpool, and Magic Sorceress of Limbo. So, okay, three nice foils in that one. I don't know if it's maybe everyone you get two foils from the non-basic action section, and then you can possibly get one from the basic action section too. We're going to have to just open the other six of these and see what happens. Unlike most games I open, where I would just be, you know, tearing through these and making a pile of all the good hits and stuff, with these ones, I'm having to make sure I do put everything back in the right box it came from, because it's super important obviously, that the right pack of dice is with the right set of cards. Otherwise, it's going to really mess me up later on. 
So, so when we have an explosion basic action card. Making the team. I'm pretty sure we got a making the team non foil in the first one. So as long as that's the same number, which I guess I didn't check, then that means that the foils are a parallel foil set. Okay, very nice. Good to know, or to assume, because I might not be right. Rally is our last base action card. I'm still holding the dice. I don't need to do that. I just need to hide them, I guess. Well, I didn't hide them very well. Blob, depowered from M Day. Gladiator, Psy Resistance. Jubilee, Rebellious Nature. Magic, again, Wielder of the Soul Source. I think Magic must have like three or four cards. Maybe a lot of them do. Phoenix, Firepower. Professor X, Dreamer. Wolverine, Pure of Heart. Corsair, leading the Starjammers. Cyclops, defending the Phoenix. Sabretooth, do I smell weakness? And fire. Oh, not finally. There's one more behind this. A foil, a blob, immovable. And a Corsair criminal record. I'm really liking these. I like how these look. I'd love to uh, do some more Dice Masters on the channel. Either if WizKids want to help me out again in future, or if I just go and buy some. I may end up just going to buy some after this. Alright. So what am I going to do? How am I going to do this? Whoops. Well, I'm going to make sure I get all of the cards out of the box. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it like the code card in Pokemon. We're going to move the dice off screen. Sure, I wasn't looking at the right camera. Move the dice off screen to make sure there are no spoilers for what's coming. And I say, it, it's only going to be hardcore players and people who've seen a lot of the set who would know, but no reason to. I keep not showing these. Um, I think they're all the same, but... Alright. Living the Dream. Basic action card. Mutation. And Power Bolt. Bishop. No, Bishop Tortured Timeline. I keep forgetting that the second part is important. Deathbird, Treacherous. Emma Frost, Influential. Jean Grey, Peaceful Coexistence. Kitty Pride, Rite of Passage. We have a foil, Moira, It's Not a Dream. That one is a really nice foil. I like that one. It's very sweet. Vulcan, Ruler of the Imperium. Beast, First Class. Rogue, Surveillance Immunity. Storm, Cloud Cover. And... Oh, I keep saying and, but then there's... I keep getting tricked. I keep thinking the second last card is the last card. Jubilee Fireworks in foil. Another nice foil. And a third foil. We have Psylocke, Advanced Telekinetic Combatant. So two to three foils seems to be about where it's at. Very nice. One thing I'd uh, like to know in the comments... If you're a collector of Dice Masters, not a player, if you're just a collector, how do you store your cards and dice? Now, obviously, I know for players, there's quite a lot of decent options for transporting around the dice you need for decks and stuff, but I'm not sure what really exists for collectors to store all of their dice to go with a set. So if you do collect, let me know. We've got a Living the Dream. A foil... Mutation. Rally. A Colossus Skilled Painter. Cyclops First Class. Deadpool, number one draft pick. Gambit, Ace in the Hole. Psylocke, Adventurer. Rogue, Mrs. X. Gladiator, The Empire Must Stand. Ooh, a foil Jean Grey, Xavier's Dream. That one looks really cool. The foils do all just look really cool, I think. Very nice. Uh, Madeline Pryor, Sisterhood. Dark Phoenix, Destructive Force. Mr. Sinister, Dark Experimentation. And a foil Jubilee, X-Men, Field Leader. Very cool. Still got another three of these to go. One thing I actually don't know about Dice Masters is whether or not there is any rarity to the cards outside of, you know, the foils being a bit rarer, or whether all 152 cards in the set have basically the same rarity. That's something I need to find out. Something I probably should have researched before I started doing this video, but hey, 
I didn't. Dampening collar. Lab test. Radicalization. Angel, Wings Over the World. That one's a really pretty card. Beast, Brawny and Brainy. Blink, Skilled Combatant. Cable, I'll do this all day. Lilandra, Politician. A Foil Magic Wielder of the Soul Sword. Deathbird, Usurper. Forge, Support Technician. Phoenix, Psionic Maelstrom. Sabertooth, Do I Smell Weakness. A Foil Bishop, Time Traveler. And a Forge, Reverse Engineer. Okay, penultimate pack now. Are we going to get something good? I don't know, because I don't know what's good, and I don't know what's bad. Other than loads of foils. Okay. We have an explosion. Greetings from Krakoa. That one's really pretty. Take cover. Forge, more than firepower. Gladiator, Psy Resistance. Jean Grey, Peaceful Coexistence. Mr. Sinister, Geneticist. Ronan the Accuser, Treason. Toad, Secondary Mutation. Vulcan, Ruler of the Imperium. Bishop, I'm back. Gambit, I like Solitaire. A Foil, Ronan the Accuser, No Mercy. A Foil, Psylocke Heiress. And a Foil, Mystique. She walks among us. Looked like we weren't getting any Foils there. Just saving them all from the end of the last three cards in a row. All Foil. Okay, final one of these. Final draft pack. We have got Arch Nemesis. Ooh, a foil radicalization. The front line. Blob depowered from M Day. Felt thick for a second, I thought it was two cards together. Deken Emperor, Deathbird Treacherous, Madeline Pryor, Dark Influence, Ooh, a Foil Magneto Idealist, Supreme Intelligence, Cree Science Council, Psylocke Telepath, Toad Looking for Camaraderie, a Foil Vulcan Power Suppression, Wolverine, Hardened by Madripoor. Moira, Strength of Foresight. And finally, Vulcan Aggression. Very nice looking cards, I think. Alright, my first real look at Dice Masters. How do you think it went? I think it went quite well. If you think it went quite well, be sure to let me know in the comments and be sure to uh, let WizKids know on their social media, whatever. If you didn't think it went well, then don't bother telling them. You know, they don't need to know all the negative feedback. They just need all this good, positive feedback about how brilliant I am. And hopefully, I'll be able to get some more cool stuff to open up on the channel for you guys. But I probably will just go out and buy some Dice Masters and stuff at some point soon. Just because it feels bad to get free stuff and not then go and actually support the company myself. But in all seriousness, thanks to WizKids for this opportunity. Thanks to all of you for watching. And hopefully you did actually enjoy. And hopefully I will see you again very soon. Thanks for watching. Check out some more videos right here. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content from DJ Gigabyte. Gotta, Gotta catch, catch them all! all. <laughs>